So our fat sponges have come out of the oven. They took about 10 minutes to cook. They're very, very light in weight. You can see the kind of golden brown underneath. So now we're going to decorate them. I'm going to use whipping cream. I've used about half a pot of this, about 150 ml. I've just whipped it using the electric whisks. Again, don't bang the electric whisks on the bowl when you finish this, otherwise you knock the air out. I'm going to scrape those clean. Now you can put a bit of icing sugar in your cream if you want it to be a bit more sugary. So about a tablespoon of icing sugar, just whisk that in. You can put a teaspoon of um, and then an essence in there to um, add some flavour to the cream. So I'm just going to put this in the middle. When you get your cakes out of the tin, when they first come out of the oven, go around the outside of the tin where your cake is with a knife and leave them to cool in the tin for about five minutes before you turn them out, otherwise they'll collapse if you get them out too quickly. If you don't go around the outside, they'll stick to the tin. So, we're going to put some cream on these. Now I'm going to put cream on one side, jam on the other, and I'm going to flip them over. You can put jam on one and then cream on top of it, it's up to you. Find out what technique suits you. So I'm going to put this in, it must hold its shape. Do not over whip your cream, otherwise it will turn into kind of like a cheesy mixture. And that will not be very nice. Don't go too near the edges and don't put too much on either, it's all squirt out the side. So go in the middle, if you want to be really good, you could pipe this. And make it a bit more um, presentable. Just go near the edges, we can tidy that up later if we don't like. So just gently tease it out don't flatten it otherwise you'll take all the air out of it so this is a very very light cake so light sponge light cream and then we'll put a little bit of jam on for some more flavor to finish it off you can sprinkle some icing sugar on top of the cake to give it a finish this is a victorious sponge or victorious sandwich version of the cake so i'm going to use some strawberry jam give that a bit of stir around Spread that on top. You don't need too much, just a thin layer to add yourself some more flavour to it. Okay, go near the edges. Okay, there we go. And then very carefully lift cake mixture, your cake on one on top of the other. Like that. And then we can sprinkle some ice sugar on top to finish it off. So there you have one fatless sponge, Victoria Savage style.